Hi guys, my name is Kate and I received the OCLA Award or Outstanding Cambridge Learners Award for Top in the World Chemistry AS level in the October-November 2024 series. My PUM was 97% and my raw mark was 124 out of 130. I'm making this video in hopes of helping other people sitting for the chemistry exam or any other AS level exams. For this video, I'll be giving both chemistry specific and general study tips. First, always utilize active recall, not passive recall. We all know from experience that reading long paragraphs gets absolutely nothing into our brains. However, it's useless to do active recall if we have nothing to recall in the first place. So usually what I do is I use a highlighter to highlight important parts while I review my notes. So that keeps my attention on the things that I am highlighting. And then after that, I usually grab a blank sheet of paper and I force myself to recall everything in that chapter. It's really difficult and tiring at the beginning, but this is the fastest, most effective way to memorize. And then I compare what I've written with my notes. I check which ones I got wrong. And I'll test myself again on the ones that I got wrong. Number two, utilize your time wisely. Are you on a long car ride home? Would it be more useful to scroll Instagram or to review what you've studied in class that day? I sometimes studied on the go by mentally testing myself on chemistry reactions or listening to a podcast reviewing the contents of biology AS level even though my exam was still far away. That way, when the exam was near and everyone was rushing to study, I'd already reviewed the content passively and I didn't have to review again like others. Number three. Always practice past papers under exam conditions. That means with the same duration of the exam and with no notes. This not only ensures that you'll be able to complete the actual exam in time, but also forces you to stay in active recall instead of referring to your notes every time you don't know the answer to a question. The temptation to open your notes every time you don't know is real. But if you open your notes every time, you'll just be copying down answers. You won't actually be retaining any information. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Learning mistakes is the best way to remember information. Finally, always write down all your mistakes after you do a past paper. What's the point of doing a past paper if you don't even remember what mistakes you made? I usually do this, and then before the exam, I go through my notebook with the mistakes that I made. Because trust me, before the exam, when we're all panicking, we're not gonna be flipping through our past papers for our mistakes. We'll want them all written down neatly and concise in a notebook. Let's move on to the chemistry-specific study tips. First, make sure your notes are 100% complete and organized. There's no point in studying and memorizing your notes if they're not even complete. And if they're all over the place, it'll be difficult to memorize. I was lucky to have a really good chemistry teacher whose lessons were really organized, but I know not everyone is lucky to have the same. So I'll be sharing my notes in the description if you need them. The notes are 100% complete and what I used to study for the exam. Second, review and memorize all your notes. Yes, all of them. Not just the ones that keep coming out in past papers. Yes, doing past papers is an excellent way to study. It utilizes active recall, but not every single part of the syllabus comes out in past papers. If you only do past papers without reviewing all of your notes, you might miss out on the small topics that rarely come out, but they might just come out in your year. Next, for organic chemistry reactions, draw a mind map linking all the reactions together. I'm a visual learner, so this might not work for everyone, but this really helped me memorize all the reactions. I'll show you an example of my mind map right here. As you can see, for each functional group, I linked it to all these reactions and I drew arrows from the organic products it produced to the functional groups they had. In the exam, you can easily remember the products or reactions by visualizing where it was on your map. That's all for now. Stay tuned for my next video, how to not procrastinate while studying for exams.